What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to learn how to speed up the Vim or NeoVim startup time on your system. So let us get right into it. Alright, so for this video, I'm going to assume that you already have Vim or NeoVim installed and configured on your system. I'm not going to talk about the basic installation here because this video is mainly focused on speeding up the configuration that you already have. If you don't have Vim or NeoVim installed or configured, I have multiple videos on this channel where I show you how to use Vim, how to install Vim, how to set up a nice NeoVim config. Uh, I have a very popular video on this channel on how to build a nice NeoVim setup uh, from scratch and you can watch that if you want to. Today we're going to talk about just speeding up the startup time of the NeoVim or Vim config that you already have. And for that I'm going to show you my config. I'm using NeoVim here and I'm using a classic Vim script config, so not a Lua config, not the new one. And um, this is located here on Linux at the user directory dot config, then nvim, and then I have the init dot vim file, and this is my config here. I have a bunch of plugins and I have a bunch of settings here. Now, my config is actually not that heavy. Maybe you have a lot of plugins. And the one thing that you want to do first in order to speed up your NeoVim or Vim config is to install a plugin called Vim Startup Time. So you can go to GitHub, you can go to github.com uh, slash dstein64 Vim Startup Time. Um, hopefully, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. Um, and you can essentially see that this is a plugin that allows you to see which application, which plugin takes uh, what amount of time, what percentage of time in the startup process. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say, and I think I maybe already have this in my config, uh, we're going to use the plugin manager of our choice. In my case, this is Vimplug, and we're going to install that plugin. So I don't know what plugin manager you're using. If you're using Vimplug inside of your plug begin plug end section, you're going to add plug and then the URL that you will hopefully find in the description down below. If not, you can just uh, type it off from the screen here, or you can just Google uh, to get there. And this plugin now allows you to evaluate to see how long the individual plugins take to load. And how do you do that? You go and type colon start up, start up time. And then what you see here up here, you can see which of the plugins takes how much time. Now, all of this is in milliseconds. So you can see my startup time here is 249 milliseconds. And you can see that nerd tree, for example, takes a lot of time, it takes 58% of the time here. So if I can somehow speed up the startup time of nerd tree, I can speed up my whole startup time. And this is what we're going to talk about in today's video. But one obvious thing that we can do here, right away, if you have a plugin that you don't really need, because oftentimes what I do, or what I did in the past was I had a bunch of plugins, and some of them I used some of them not, and I just left them in there because I thought, okay, I don't use them, but it doesn't really matter. And then I had like five, six, seven plugins that I don't really use. And they all needed some time to boot up some time to start. And I noticed, for example, that some plugins take a lot of time, and I don't use them. So one very simple way is to just get rid of the plugins that you don't use that have a long uh, startup time or a or high startup time. And one more thing that you can do is you can type startup time and you can then type capital K um, to actually you need to go to the respective plugin. So nurture, for example, capital K, and you can see down here, Vim startup time event nurture dot Vim start uh, and a bunch of um, other important, uh, interesting uh, metrics. So you can go into detail mode by just capital K and you can see some more information there. And again, as I said, the first step would be to to remove the plugins that you don't need or to only activate them on certain file types. So you can say, for example, certain plugins, I only want to use them if the file ending is py. So Python, for example, and I can do that easily here inside of Vimplug by just going to the plugin that I want to load conditionally based on the file type. And by going at the end of that line, appending a comma and appending curly brackets, with the keyword for inside it. And then I want to load it only for Python. Jedi Vim is a Python specific plugin. So it makes sense to only load that plugin um, when I'm working on Python files, which means that if I open up now NeoVim on a Java file, Jedi will not be loaded, 
which of course speed up, uh, speeds up the startup time. And maybe you have a bunch of different plugins that you only need for one language, for one file type, or for five, six, seven different file types. And for the rest of the file types, you don't need them. And maybe those are plugins that are quite heavy, so you don't want to activate them every time you open Vim. This is a way to speed up your startup time, to decrease your startup time. And another thing that you can do, and you see it already up here, is you can say that you want to load certain plugins only on certain events. So for example, I have the tag bar plugin here. And this is a plugin that allows me to show objects um, in, in a file. So if I press F8, this is the key binding that I have, it opens up here, uh, this tag bar, and it works for different languages, it shows me classes and objects in um, C++ or in Java, it shows me functions in C and variables in C and um, some preprocessor directives in C, it shows me also classes and everything in uh, Python and also shows me here in Vim script, the variables, the functions, the mappings and so on. This is a plugin that is not loaded when I open up Vim. So it doesn't load when I start Vim, it loads when I use the plugin. So F8 is bound to the command tag bar toggle. So this is the command tag bar toggle that I uh, have bound to F8. Maybe we can find a line there you go, nmap f8 tag bar toggle. This is what I do. This is how I load the plugin. Um, or this is how I use the plugin. And what I say here is that Vim plug should not load this plugin, unless I execute that command. So when I start Vim, the plugin is not loaded. Only when I press f8 for the first time, this plugin is actually loaded into Vim into the config. Um, and we can do that, of course, also with other plugins. So let's go ahead again and see the startup time we already saw that Nurtree is the plugin that takes the most time to start. So what we could do here, and I have this already in a comment here, uh, we could say that we only want to load Nurtree on Nurtree toggle. So Nurtree toggle is this here, um, when I do in my case, control T, this toggles the Nurtree. And um, yeah, I can then use it, of course. And uh, I have bound this, where is it? Here, Nurtree toggle. And this line now this extra information here says that the nurtry plugin in and of itself is not loaded at all, unless I toggle the nurtry. So we can save that and we can close the window here, we can go back into it and now evaluate the startup time. And we will see that the startup time is now way less than before, less than half of it, because nurtry is not loaded. And still I can go and say control T. And there you go, I have nurtry. Now one thing that you will notice is that the first time I do this, it has to load nurtry. So um, it takes more time to execute nurtry. Uh, the first time take um, pay attention to this. So if I open the file now, nurtry is not loaded, if I now press control T, it will take more time. So I press now, it took a little bit longer than if I do it now, because now it happens instantaneously. And if I remove that line here, so if I comment it out again, um, not the line, but, but the statement afterwards, now nurtry is loaded. So if I now press control T, it already is loaded, it doesn't take longer. Um, and you can also see now if I say startup time again, nurtry is again part of the startup process and we take, uh, it takes more time. So this is something that we can do. However, you need to keep in mind that this has also some disadvantages. So if I do this, one thing that I cannot do now is I cannot do nurtry focus. Uh, at least I think I cannot do that. So I think I have uh, nurtry focus is control F, which means focusing on nurtry. But you can see here not an editor command nurtry focus, it doesn't know that because nurtry does not exist in my editor right now. If I now do nurtry toggle, you can see nurtry is here. And now I can also do nurtry focus. So if I say control F, it focuses on nurtry. This works. Um, but it doesn't load the plugin unless I do nurtry toggle, of course, I can also add focus here. So we have all the commands that are necessary. But this is something to keep in mind. And also, uh, you will notice that if I for example, now just open um, if I now just open a directory, what happens usually is it opens up nurtry and allows me to browse through that directory. So if I say NeoVim in the current directory, now I don't have nurtry. Now I can browse through the files in a very basic way, but not in a nurtry way. So I can still open the file, but I don't have nurtry available. Whereas if I remove that again, I comment it out you will see that nurtry will be loaded instantaneously. And now I'm working with nurtry right away. So I am in nurtry already. Um, 
just by opening up the directory because I don't wait for nurture toggle. This is uh, an important thing here. Um, you have to keep that in mind. But essentially, those are the things that you can do to speed up massively sometimes your Vim config or NeoVim config. You load plugins, certain plugins only for certain file types. So in this case, this will only be loaded for Python files. And you can also load on certain events. I don't need the tag bar unless I need it. Now for Nurtree, we saw that this might have some negative effects, but I don't need the tag bar unless I actually need the tag bar. And then I can wait the first time for a couple of seconds uh, or milliseconds actually. But it makes more sense to load plugins, certain plugins conditionally and to remove other plugins entirely, which you don't need and take maybe up a lot of time uh, in the startup process. This is how you speed up your Vim or NeoVim config and how you speed up the startup time. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.